Hello, viewers. You join me in darkness because it is very, very early, not late. You also join me in what appears to be a scrapyard, but don't be deceived by that because just over there is the portal to the platform that leads to the world's most expensive train, the Maharaja Express. Prepare yourselves for death by luxury. While the Maharaja's Express was built in 2010, its 14 opulent guest carriages are designed to evoke a bygone golden era, around the time Agatha Christie started murdering passengers on other routes. Today is the first leg of the week-long Indian Splendour Tour. As Michael Portillo is discreetly smuggled out, I collect my press credentials... Oh, I get it. Uh, namaste. Enjoy some waiting room music. And it's all aboard the Maharaja's Express. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, welcome on board. Ooh. Ooh. It's right posh. There's breakfast. There's a bar. Bed's nice. Yes, I'm happy. With pith helmet unpacked and luggage stowed, we're ready to take the wiggly red train track to Agra. Thank you for travelling on the Maharaja's Express. The next stop will be 1937. Big Ben. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board for a delightful experience of the Maharaja's Express. The train appears to be having something of an identity crisis. You can have eggs to order with breakfast meats, grilled tomato, hash browns and beans. It's not very Indian, but you can have an upma, which is very, it's very South Indian. This is all very nicely done, and I can see why it would appeal to a certain sort of person, but I'm not really sure why you'd come all the way to India and spend many, many thousands of pounds to have an experience that you could have in the Excelsior in Bogner Regis. Still, when in Bogner, Tom would like me to have um, two, two fried eggs with all the stuff. It's like being back in my local greasy spoon, except that's not on a train and it's run by a Turkish bloke. Yeah, excellent, thank you. you. Thank you very much indeed. This is a bit bacon and this is this. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. After polishing off my full Indian, I fancy a stiff one next door. <laughs> May I have a Bloody Mary, please? Please, sir. Thank you. Lots of spicy stuff. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm going to say this quietly, but this is effectively a nationalised train. It's not really as old as it makes out to be. It's a facsimile. It's like a theme park, but it's a train. But what is slightly surprising is at the moment, especially, the Indian government is very anti the legacy of empire and colonialization. But then they've built what is actually a little bit of a Raj fantasy. And I'm slightly baffled by it. But anyway, I'm sure drink will cure it, whatever it is. So, here's your bloody Mary. And if you like Fantastic. Your lunch, you can your lunch. No, that looks perfect. Yes, can I retire to the yeah. conservatory? Yes, of course. Thank you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Observation <laughs> car. Observation car. Thank you. I apologise to my colleagues. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, jeez. Yes. Excellent. There's nothing much wrong with that. <laughs> 